The Aspen Plus fluidized bed model treats the bed as made of two zones. The bottom zone, referred to as the dense bed. And the freeboard zone, referred to as the loose bed. To better illustrate this concept, take a look at the following computational fluid dynamics modeling of a fluidized bed reactor. As shown here, on the onset of fluidization, the fluidized bed is split into two zones. The dense bed at the bottom and the loose bed. In the bottom zone, high solids concentration and fluid mechanics is dealt with according to the Werther and Wine theorem. This theorem considers the growth and splitting of bubbles. Bubble-related profiles such as bubble diameter, bubble rise velocity, gas velocity, and solid volume concentration can all be calculated. In the freeboard zone, relatively low solids concentration and fluid mechanics is dealt with according to the Levenspiel theorem. Using the selected entrainment correlations, the solids mass flow and particle size distribution at the outlet condition can be calculated. Overall, once you define the bed inventory by specifying the pressure drop or the solids hold up, the height of the bottom zone and the freeboard zone can be determined. We will see this in detail further ahead.